goal of this exercise is to see how a high-pass filter can be applied to a high-pitched instrument without affecting its tone very much. Step 1. Open the ukulele song session, a version of my song called That's How It Goes. There are two ukulele tracks. Imagine that the first ukulele track was recorded standing next to the bass amp, while the second ukulele track was recorded in an isolation booth. There is another track with the bass all by itself that we can use, so we don't need the bass on the uke one track. Imagine that you wanted to fix some of the notes on the bass part. You could make changes to its solo track, but there would still be the bleed through into the uke one track that you'd hear when it was turned up. One thing you could do would be to insert a high pass filter on the uke one track to cut out as much of the bass from it as possible. The lowest string on a standard ukulele is 262 hertz, so cutting out anything below that shouldn't have any effect on its tone. Step 2. Solo the uke one track and insert a channel strip plugin. Activate the low cut function and raise the cutoff frequency. The ukes come in at bar 14 and drop out during the piano solo. A loop has been set from bar 14 to 26. See how much of the bass is reduced and what effect the filtering has on the ukulele sound. While you're there, boost the highs around 2 kHz to make the ukulele come through the mix better. Add a similar boost to the uke 2 track. Deactivate the loop and unsolo the uke tracks. Play through the song and find a balance you like. Pan the ukes hard left and right. You were once just a kid. They would watch what you did. Now you're out on your own. All you got is a phone. And just hit the road. For a walk, best get home before dark. Don't know who you might meet and have to beat a retreat. Just hit the road, that's how it goes. They will tell you, look on the positive side. So lucky, it's up to you to decide. Take a knock on the chin, other times you cash in. Get called in by the boss, sits you down, says get lost. Just hit the road, that's how it goes.
Another thing you could do to reduce the bass in the uke one track would be to edit out all the parts where the ukulele. Another thing you could do to reduce the bass in the uke one track would be to edit out all the parts where the ukulele is not playing. You can locate those parts by looking at the track's waveform.